Welcome to One on One. This is your favorite program coming from Baraton TV here and here after. We are broadcasting from the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. And today we have a very, very, very important guest coming to us all the way from West Africa. A great professor. And uh, I will not dare say his name. He will tell us his name. Welcome, Prof. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what's your name? My name is Olufomisho. Olu Shola, Ola Jigbe. You can easily call me Shola. <laughs> because I have Person. a very long name. <laughs> that is a what does that name mean? My name, the first name Olu Fumisho simply means that God has given me to you, okay. you to take care of me. Okay, then the second one? Olu Shola simply means that God provided my wealth. Mm -hmm. Then the third one? The third one, Ola Jigbe is my name, mm -hmm. that my wealth is greater than my faith. Wow. I guess you come to us from Nigeria. That sounds like a Nigerian name. Yes, I'm a Nigerian. Where were you born and brought up, Prof? I was born in Nigeria in a state called now Oshun State. Okay. In Ileife as a town. Is that northern or southern? It's in the western part of Nigeria. Okay, western part of Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Where we have... Um, it's... A small town, it used to be a small town, but has grown to a, a, a city now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where I was born and I was brought up. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your schooling. Uh, well, I, I'm always telling people that I had about, I went to about six primary schools. Why? <laughs> because I was so mobile as a little boy when okay. I was young. Okay. Everybody wants to take me along with, with them wherever they want me to go. Okay. So I'm always going with them. Uh -huh. So I have a class here, I have a class there, I have a class there. Yeah. Then at the end of the day, I finished in 1982. And then after that? Then I went into a secondary school okay. in the town where I was born, which is Ileife in Ocean State. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's where I had my secondary school. Mm -hmm. I proceeded into the university. Also, we, know we have it. My, the name of my university is Obafemi Awolo University, Ileife. Okay. Okay. I had my first degree there and have my first degree in microbiology. So you did microbiology for your first degree? My first degree. Then your second degree? My second degree was in pharmaceutical microbiology. Okay. I okay. had that one in the University of Ibadan in Oyo okay. State, yeah, which yeah. is also Western Nigeria. Okay. So this is pharmaceutical microbiology. Yes. It has to do with um, medicines, chemicals? I yes, don't know. it has to do with the relationship, how you, how you treat infections and okay. what you treat infections with. Mm -hmm. So, the pharmaceutical has to do with the drug. Okay. The microbiology is still the microbiology that has to do with organisms that are capable of causing infection. Oh, uh, that cause infection. Then I had my PhD from South Africa. Oh, now you went south. Yes, uh -huh. well, that is where I had my PhD in phytomedicine, ethnobotany. Okay. Which has to do with the use of medicinal plants uh -huh. in the treatment of infections. Okay. And I had my PhD at the University of Fort A. Oh. Alice, Eastern Cape. Fort Hare is where Nelson Mandela went to. Yes. So we are from the same school. With Nelson Mandela. Yes. And somebody else called Robert Mugabe. Yes. He so also you, went to the same school. Same school. Yeah. Maybe I should pass by there and do a one week certificate so that we will. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> So, then so, we become the same alma mater. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the same school. Wow. So how was the experience? How, did, how long did you stay in Fort Hare? I had my three years PhD mm -hmm. in Fort A. Okay. And I must tell the world that it was a lovely experience. Mm -hmm. It was an experience I want to pass down to any university I go to, uh -huh. anywhere in the world. Yes. And that is what I practice in my school in Babcock University. Okay. What was the experience? Yes. Number one, when I got into the university, yes. and I got to my professor, mm -hmm. I had my first meeting with my professor. He said, mm -hmm. hey boy, do whatever you want to do in my lab and get out of my lab. <laughs> That's the first meeting. That first was the first meeting. Do what you want to do. Do whatever you want to do in my lab and get out. Uh -huh. I sat down and I looked at the statement. I asked myself, why should that be the first? No, no, no greeting, no... Uh, just... No, after I'm greeting. Okay, okay. That was the instruction. It came as an, instru as an instruction. Yes. Do whatever you want to do mm. and get out of my lab. It was as good as telling me you don't have any time to stay extra day in my lab. Okay. So you, you must use the time. 
and once you are done pew, wow so redeem the time i every day my first year like i told you mm. immediately gave me that statement it was as if you he, he let me out of my cage mm -hmm. giving me the opportunity to express myself uh -huh. academically mm -hmm. as a researcher mm -hmm. and as a writer mm -hmm. as an author yes wow. so immediately i left his office i went back to my office mm. because it gave me an office mm -hmm. i assessed myself mm. i asked my, myself questions mm -hmm. what do i want to gain out of this place, this place. yes then i looked i saw i surveyed i read about people i looked at how far they've gone they went mm -hmm. in the lab within three years mm -hmm. and i decided i was going to surpass them one other thing that was that also came along the line when I interacted with my my supervisor mm -hmm. was that he would always bring his thesis. Okay. And would tell me, look, tell everybody, I deliver my thesis in one week. Wow. If you deliver your thesis in one week yeah. and you publish in your, then I should be able to break. It. If I want yeah. to, if it's your prayer that I must be greater, then then I must be able to break your record of one week to probably three days. So, I started reading. I told myself the next three months I was mm. going to read mm -hmm. in this lab. Mm -hmm. So I was reading in the next three months. Mm -hmm. And so this program had a classroom component and research component. It, it doesn't have any classroom co component. It was it research. Was basically research. So after the three months, yes. I started my research work. Yes. Immediately I started research work. Mm. I started writing. Now, now there's there's somebody who is watching us. Okay who has been trying to do a master's or a PhD yeah. and they have not started the research. Yeah. They are saying, I will begin tomorrow properly. Procrastination uh, before you go on. Procrastination is the greatest <laughs> enemy of man. <laughs> yes. And so somebody needs to be encouraged today that they need to do that thing. <sighs> Say something, Prof, to some master student, some PhD student who is somewhere has been planning that this year I will do it. But so far, the year is spent. And, and mind you, 17 days is gone out of the year. Yes. S say something to encourage these people to, 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 to just get writing. Honestly, I want to tell the whole world yes. that research is not as difficult as we take it. Mm -hmm. Research is just like, how do I take this food? How do I eat this food mm -hmm. that is on this table? Mm -hmm. Do I eat it with my hands? Do I go with spoon? Uh -huh. Do I go with fork? Uh -huh. Do I go with the combination of the two? Okay. That is as that is my simple definition of research. And you just start. And you start eating. Don't think too much about it. Don't think too much about what you want to. Yes. First of all, launch yourself mm -hmm. and begin to move around. Mm -hmm. By the time you move around, you move around, you move around, and as you are moving around, mm -hmm. read. The more you read, the more you understand. The more you understand, the more you know. The more you know is the more you know how to yes. do your research. So read and read. Read and read. And the more you know, the better you become. And the soon you will become. start writing, writing. Wow. And mm -hmm. you don't procrastinate about research. J just do it today. Because if you leave research for one day, research will leave you for one month. I hope you didn't miss that. You leave research for one day, it leaves you for one, one month. So do it today. Do something today. Today. Uh, we, we know you are viewing us, and even viewing us, you seem to have diverted. Do it today. 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 So you got into the work. I went into the work, uh -huh. and I told myself, this man said, I should do whatever I want to do in three years and get out of his, his lab. So the one thing I sacrificed was my sleep. You sacrifice your sleep. Something must go. I mean, you, you, you can't sleep for too long as if you are competing with the dead and you expect to produce anything. I sacrificed my sleep. Mm -hmm. I sacrificed my appetite. Uh -huh. Because when my friends would say, let us go to the spa mm -hmm. to buy things and to eat, yes. occasionally I, I told them that, please, can you wait for me? Hmm. to finish this paragraph yes and of course i know that they wouldn't wait so as they go you are doing one more paragraph uh-huh 
That's number two. Yes. Number three. Yes. I think I want to say thank God for my family because they were also the sacrificial life, part of the sacrificial life. Okay, okay. Many times they will call me, Daddy, how are you doing? I'll call you back. I'm busy. I'll call you back. Yes. And probably in the next two days, I'm, I'm not be able to call them back. Call them back. And we are glad they understood. <laughs> no, we, we want to thank family at just this moment. We know you are watching. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh huh. So, then. Yes. I've been sacrificing, I've been, I've been sacrificed all these things. Yes. And many more. How long did you take now to finish? My PhD work was supposed to take three years. Yes. I finished my PhD all together yes. in 19 months. Because wow. 19th month, I submitted my thesis. Wow. And before I submitted my thesis, mm -hmm. by the time I finished my PhD, I had already published 18 papers. 18 papers, prof. You, 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 you need to say something about this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know? <laughs> 18 papers. Yes. The, there, is, there is a wannabe scholar. And as of today, let me say, it, let me conclude that <laughs> yes, as, yes, as of today, yes. I have published my whole thesis. It's published. Everything in my thesis, in my thesis is published. Now, 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 uh, maybe we, there's, there's a wannabe scholar who has been planning to publish for the last three years. And as, as, as he or she is watching us, yep. there, is, there is zero publication. Because it does not, that, in, that scholar does not have the, or has not created the interest in publishing. No, tell, in research. In research. Tell, tell, tell us about publishing, uh, Prof. A, 18 and, and as of now, how many? Well, as of now, I, I stopped writing in about the last four years. Mm -hmm. I stopped writing in 2016. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I had too much weight in the university. Okay. I am a director in the university. I'm a full-time lecturer. Mm -hmm. Combining the two was mm -hmm. heavy on me. This is but in Babcock University. When I say I have not written, mm -hmm. it simply means that I've not sat down since 2016 to pick a topic, develop the introduction, write the materials and method, mm -hmm. write the discussion, put the reference, format, and submit. Mm -hmm. But honestly, mm -hmm. my papers that I've had and I've had to review and I've written even before then mm. are still rolling out even till January 1st when one just came in. You're still day. releasing them. If somebody wants to read some of your works, where does he or she go? Somebody is watching us. Please just put my name on the internet. Okay. Now, because the name is maybe difficult for some people, we are going to run it down on the screen. You'll just look down on the screen. Okay. You'll be able to, to get the name right there. My name is O L U F U N M I S O. Yes. Middle name O L U S O L A. Mm -hmm. Surname O L A J U Y I G B E. Good. And you can Google that name. Put that name on the internet. You'll see it there. You will see it for yourself. Now, if if I have a topic that I want to research on. Yeah. Give me a short trip until I publish. I have a problem I want to investigate and I want to get to the end of publishing. Number one thing I want you to know is that mm. as a researcher, mm -hmm. the topic you are coming up with yes. may not be eventually what you are going to conclude on. Uh -huh. It will change at some point. Okay. So the first thing is you come up with something in my mind. I want to research on this particular area. Mm -hmm. If I want to research in this particular area, mm. what do I do? Mm -hmm. I read. In that area, around that area. That area. Yes. When you read around that area, yes. along the line, you will get a topic to focus your writing on. Uh -huh. If you get a topic to focus your writing on, mm -hmm. the next thing is for you to go into the materials and methods uh -huh. that has to do with that area. Yes. Work on it. Mm -hmm. 
pull your materials and methods together. Mm -hmm. That will guide you as to what to do in the laboratory. Mm -hmm. On the basis of the topic, you generate your results. Yes. Negative result in research is result. It's still a result. It's still a result. Yes. You don't throw away the result. No, you, so it's a finding. It's a finding. Yes. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. many of us will see negative results and will say, no, I didn't have results. Mm -hmm. If your materials and methods are right and you get negative results. You have result. You have results. You have a result. The only thing you need to do is make your work reproducible. Aha, aha. So that even when you are reporting a negative result, I can easily tell another person in another part of the work, can easily pick your work and say, let me confirm why it is. And they too will find a negative, yeah, so that it's, it has been reproduced. That is scientific. That is scientific. Yes. In my PhD work, I wrote an article. Mm -hmm. It was accepted. Mm -hmm. And a reviewer just picked the paper mm -hmm. and found that somebody published in the area mm -hmm. about five months ago mm -hmm. using my method, using my plants, using my... The only thing was that the person worked on micro, I worked on macro. Okay, okay, okay. Yet, our result was in the, the range, uh -huh. in the same range. The acceptable range. Which yeah. means that... Yeah. Directly or indirectly, I confirmed what he did. Mm -hmm. He has confirmed, if he went through, if he had happened the opportunity to go through my, my result or my publication. It will confirm what he did. He did. Now, Are you know what I'm yes. If you know what you want to do now, the next thing is, number one, don't wait until you finish your work mm -hmm. before you begin to write. So you write as you go. So how do you write? When you decide that this is the area I want to work, yes. begin your introduction. Okay. Your literature review. Yes. Your literature, your literature search. Yes. Begin to write it. Save it somewhere in your laptop. Just continue. Yes. Create a, a paper. Yes. A page. Yes. Continue to grow it. Continue to grow it. Continue. You can get to um, Nairobi and you see something that has to do with your topic. Quickly open your system. Put your hand Add on it. Add it there. Put it there. Yes. When Sometimes you thoughts come. You are traveling. Actually, or you're, yeah. actually you know what? <laughs> yes. As a researcher, yeah. I spent minutes, mm -hmm. I mean minutes, or if not up to an hour, mm -hmm. in toilet at times. Because the thoughts come. When it comes, I pick my phone, I begin to write on my phone. Yes. When I'm done, I transfer it to my system. Yes. And when I transfer it to my system, I look at where I can fix such a thought mm -hmm. in, my, in my literature review. I put it you there. put it there. Now, 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 Prof, you are through with writing. Tell us about publishing because I have a paper now. Yeah. And now this is common to all areas, not only science, it could be in arts. Now I publishing have Publishing is publishing. So wh wh how do I, where do I send it? You, number one thing I want to encourage mm -hmm. you as a researcher. Mm -hmm. You know your area of interest. Yes. Grow your area of interest from the roots. As you come up. Nurture it mm -hmm. until you get to the, to the peak. Mm -hmm. Don't because you have somebody here whose interest is in this area, you follow that place. Mm -hmm. You go to this place, you follow that way. You, you keep jumping here and there. By the time you get to your peak, to, to the tail end of your career, mm -hmm. it is difficult to award you your professorship. Yeah, because who, who are you? Because they don't know which area you belong to. You've been here, there, and everywhere. So, when you grow yourself from the roots, mm -hmm. everybody that look at your work can easily say, from the beginning, is between the You are, the you are an expert of this. But now, let, let's talk about publishing. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about publishing. Yes. Now you know which area you are. Yes. When you have done your work in the area you are, yes. and you have written your manuscript in the area you are, yes. what you do is look for journals. Uh -huh. There are thousands and thousands of journals from which you can publish. Predatory journals? I don't publish in predatory journals. Sorry. It, it, it's good for the... the I don't publish... Sorry if you can hear me. I don't publish in predatory journals. And what are predatory journals? In the first place, some, they may not even know what... What, what, what are predatory journals? Yes. Number one, predatory journals 
are journals that will call you to submit your articles. They will mm -hmm. send you a call for articles. Mm -hmm. Many of them will take your paper, receive your paper, and publish your paper within three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. And, and they, they ask, ask for some money. To go and pay. Yes. When they are asking you to go and pay, mm. some have that problem. Mm. But not all the journals that ask you to go and pay are predatory. Pre um, pre um, processing charges mm. are predatory. So how do, how do you tell that this is predatory journal? There is a website mm -hmm. for checking on predatory journals. Okay. You can check on, I think, B-A-R-L-S, Bears okay. website. Yes. There you find list of predatory journals yes. and predatory publishers. Mm -hmm. Before you, once you pick a journal, mm -hmm. put that journal in that website. Mm -hmm. If it's there, mm -hmm. you'll see it coming up. Okay. But once it is not there, then you come. But in most cases, I advise people, mm -hmm. young authors, mm -hmm. Don't publish in volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five. Okay. Step forward a little. Mm -hmm. When you have journals, volume simply means that that journal has, volume one simply means that that journal is for this year, starting okay. this year. Okay. So when you have volume 10, it simply means that that journal started 10 years, 10 ago. years ago. So they must have spread their tentacles uh -huh. and must have had list of, uh, what's it called, reviewers, strong uh -huh. reviewers. Yes. I'm a reviewer. So, I review for strong journals. Okay. And when I look at your article, and I look at it, and I read through, mm -hmm. and I say it doesn't worth it, I reject it. And I write the editor-in-chief. Don't publish this. So, you look for journals which are not predatory, then which, send your paper. Then you format. You look, you look at, at their, their format. You go, to, you go to their website. Yes. You look for instructions for authors. Yes. When you look for, when you get the instruction for authors, you read through, you, form, you now come back to your manuscript. You format your manuscript. According to their expectations, yes. When you are done with that, yeah. send your journals, your manuscript to them. Then it is rejected. If it is rejected, they will tell you what to do. Okay. But let me tell you one of the secrets of writing. Yes. In my elementary period, when I was talking about my PhD yes. period, what do I do? I sit down, I write my manuscripts, I look for journals in the areas of my interest. Yes. They are all in categories, in yes. series, yes. in experiences. Mm -hmm. I look for high impact factor journals mm -hmm. where I know that people like me will not be able to penetrate. <laughs> yes. So I sit down, I format my manuscripts, I send my manuscripts to them. No, no, knowing that it is slightly above you at that time. Not slightly, well yeah. above me. But you still send it there. I'll send it there. Uh -huh. And they will sit down, mm -hmm. they will read through, they will give their comment, they will stay, at the end of the day, they will tell me, your article is rejected. Mm -hmm. When my article is rejected, mm. you know what I do? Uh -huh. I go to my office in the room, uh -huh. in the office, I dance. <laughs> you are dancing? <laughs> Why? I dance because they experience what they want me to do on my manuscript, yeah. they have advised. Oh, they have sent back, aha, and they are qualifying you for, wow. So when, I, when, I'm, ref, when I'm reformatting my manuscript, yes. I'm throwing it to the next one that is just a little bit lower than the one. And already it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> By the time I throw it to them, yeah. some of... I remember one, one of my, two of my manuscripts mm. in my second year as a PhD student. The, the editor-in-chief mm -hmm. wrote my supervisor personally mm -hmm. that I would have accepted this manuscript mm -hmm. the way it is, mm -hmm. but tell this candidate to go and isolate from this plant. Okay. Once he has isolated, let him insert it into the manuscript yes. and send back to me. Yes. My supervisor, my supervisor is a very, very funny person. Yes. We had a research meeting and he said, you know what? Yes. Somebody's manuscript was rejected today. <laughs> and I said, bro, say it loud and clear. Tell the, the group that our manuscript <laughs> was rejected today because your name was on it. Yes. Uh, and we all laughed. 
one day I shot my manuscripts into a very strong journal. Mm -hmm. And after about three months, mm -hmm. they wrote me, your paper accepted. Wow. And you know what? I had to pay 1,350 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's quite an amount. That's quite an amount. Yes. And I was afraid to confront my supervisor because he gets to his office 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm. So I do him email. Mm. <sighs> this paper was accepted and this is the article processing charge in mm. invoice. Yeah. He called me immediately and said, Hey, F.O. Mm. That's my also in my, my initial. Yes. He said, F.O. Yes. Come, 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 come. And I went to him. And he said, what have you gone to do in that journal? <laughs> I said, bro, I'm just exploring. <laughs> yes. He said, you are exploring. Yes. And the paper was accepted. Yes. So what next? I said, prof, I've just submitted another one and they have just accepted it. Yeah. And they're asking us to pay 1,200 and 1,200 pounds. pounds. Ha! Huh? You think the... I said, prof, don't worry. She be, mm. I'm exploring. Yes. You ask me, what, what's next? Yes. The same thing goes to every one of us. Yes. If you are a researcher, mm. you must be able to explore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You dare take the, the world. Take, take the risk. Take, you take the risk. Yes. Honestly, I took the risk. Mm -hmm. And I'm still taking the risk. And it has been published. Wow. Now, Prof. Yes. Maybe we need to stop here and say that we are going to invite Prof again uh, next time so that we can hear more about him. Uh, let me tell you, this is awesome. Researchers need to hear you more. I will tell it to the world. Thank you so much. We are coming back. This is Baratong TV here and hereafter. God bless you.